Ladies and gentlemen, Trump is daring Merrick Garland to indict him, and he knows that there's no way to convict a former president who has the power to declassify documents. They didn't even indict, and you can watch the short on this channel with James Comey stating, well, there were violations of the legal statutes pertaining to the handling of classified data, but no reasonable prosecutor would indict. They didn't even indict Madam Secretary. For top secret and special access program, funneled, intelligence funneled and siphoned from the U.S. government onto secret private networks outside, literally outside of the United States government, where nobody in the U.S. government had access, theoretically, to those networks. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I have that short with James Comey uh, explaining why no reasonable prosecutor would indict Clinton But I have another short, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll read this Axios article. Trump opposes immediately sharing declassification details in Mar-a-Lago case. It's pretty hilarious. We'll get to that and we'll give an analysis of that. But I lift 110-pound dumbbell, uh, 110-pound dumbbells, uh, 110 each hand, and um, I do six reps. 110 pound dumbbell chest press. I did a 100 pound dumbbell chest press on H.A. Goodman's other channel. And on this channel, I have a short, it it should have come out already. I I scheduled it for 7 a.m. So you should already see it. Uh, It should be up and check it out. It's on this channel. It's a short of me um, pressing 110 pound dumbbells, uh, chest flat bench chest press for I think six reps or so and uh, it's a record record for me so I'm really happy about that and uh, let me know what you think the audio uh, has to be like the audio isn't very good and the reason is because there was music playing in the background and there are always copyright issues so YouTube makes like a big deal with uh, like any songs even in the background they never used to do that years back you could have any song playing in the background, but they make an issue of it. So um, I edited like pretty much a lot of the um, background music and noise. And so uh, the audio is a bit off, but you know what? I It's a record for me. So tell me if you enjoy it below in, in, the, in the description. And hopefully I'll be doing more workout videos as well. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, let's read this. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and H.A. Goodman's other channel. If you want to give a super thanks, a super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. And also, uh, if you want to support my work long term, my Patreon is below. Ladies and gentlemen, Trump opposes immediately sharing declassification details in Mar-a-Lago case. Former President Donald Trump's legal team on Monday night opposed a request by Special Master reviewing the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago to make disclosure about the declassification of documents at his Florida residence. His his thing is, well, why should I tell you how I declassified it? I'm a former president. Okay, um, he's basically saying, if you have anything on me, go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, Don't bring it, sing it, he's saying. But at the same time, he also knows they can't convict. They could possibly indict Trump because they despise him. Not because of any issues pertaining to morality, because you're talking about people who are immoral all the time, most of the time, from Hunter to Bill to to Joe. You could look what President you could look at what President Obama did to Libya, and then and then you just ask yourself if they should pontificate about morality. And then you have uh, Bernie Sanders. I'm getting cheated every four years. Bernie Sanders in a primary that isn't even a functioning primary. And then they're pontificating about democracy, but. They have to, almost from a political sense, mashed potato brains is going to get impeached in 23. So the economy is going to tank. And ladies and gentlemen, we are heading towards a catastrophic stock market meltdown, also economic downturn. Go to the Atlanta GDP now estimate for the St. Louis Fed. Okay, I don't want to sneeze. St. Louis Fed... No, so sorry, the Atlanta Fed. Go there right now. It's 0.5%. 0.5. 
I'm close to sneezing. Oh my god. 0.5% GDP growth. That really means a negative third quarter. So you're looking at a negative third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, a negative first, second, and then they said, oh, it's not a recession. Yeah, it's a recession. It's a recession. These people have to uh, redefine words because their arguments are so absurd. So the only way they get away with their arguments is redefining words. So yeah, and not only is it a recession, it's a long-term economic downturn. Our economy is shrinking with inflation soaring 8 to 9%, getting worse in terms of food prices. Oil, will, WTI, will get to over $100 a barrel, like it was a couple of weeks back. Then you'll have inflation going up no matter how, how high they raise interest rates. And interest rates are going to be raised this week, tanking the uh, bond market more and especially the housing market. So where is the growth going to come from? And Democrats have, a, there's always a climate emergency. There's always some kind of emergency they have to address. It's just a big, big, important thing they're doing all the time. They're saving the planet. They're saving you. And yet the economy is shrinking. And yet inflation is through the roof. And, and, and with all their apoplectic, hysterical, you know, uh, claims about Trump, about democracy, about this and that, we have an invasion in Europe and... That hasn't, hasn't, there's no end in sight there. And that's with Democrats in the House, the Senate, and um, the presidency. Mashed potato brains will get impeached, like I said, but we have an economic downturn, and this is all politics and public relations. Stephen Colbert and Jimmy Kimmel spend their lives taking gigantic dumps on Trump, or any Republicans. There has to be some kind of campaign finance violation. I mean, if you work for the Democratic Party, you might as well just get a paycheck. From It's not just about your First Amendment now. It's like you've devoted your life to it. And there has to be some kind of tie. Like, we'll just... The DNC cheated Bernie Sanders. I used to be the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post. And the unofficial scribe of Sanders is most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. I now support Donald Trump. Why? Because I want a great economy. We had household median incomes at record highs. We had a record low in poverty. That's the selling point to being a Democrat or, you know, anyone on the left. You care about poor people. Well, everyone was doing better under Trump in 2019. We had a record low in poverty. So anyone who says, oh, Trump abandoned the working class, oh, uh, that person is very likely an imbecile who doesn't really realize that we had a record low in poverty, according to CNN, and a record high in terms of household median incomes, hundreds of thousands of new manufacturing jobs. So, of course, they have to go after Trump. But the time and the place, this is what the article says, for such declarations would be in connection with a Rule 41 motion that specifically alleges declassification as a component of its argument for return of property wrote the lawyers in reference to a motion that f that's filed uh, by those seeking the return of property seized in, in an unlawful search. So, if there's an issue about a classified document, then, then he'll probably... But then it goes, otherwise the special master will have forced the plaintiff to fully and spe uh, specifically disclose a defense to the merits of any subsequent indictment without uh, such a requirement being evident in the district court's order. So then why it matters. Oh my God, the Washington Post says uh, he he understands you can lead to criminal charges. Uh, when Democrats investigate, they're doing, primarily they're doing so to intimidate. They're the ones who go after the direct political rivals all the time. They keep saying that Trump went after his direct political rivals. He's an authoritarian. That's all they did. He's investigating in Georgia, investigated in uh, New York, Stormy. Uh, now Avenatti's in prison. Um, and then you have uh, the federal government, Merrick Garland, raiding Mar-a-Lago, going through Melania's clothing. Are you kidding me? In Baron Trump's room, they have no respect for Trump. They, they have only contempt and disdain. And they level the United States government from the Steele dossier and the Mueller probe to uh, and the, Alex, uh, the Downer meeting with George Papadopoulos, that he was set up and framed, Papadopoulos was, to now this. They could have indicted Trump in August. They decided not to because they don't have a crime. They know exactly the documents he has. They already read through all the documents before, especially you think they haven't read the boxes. 
You think they're like, oh, we have all these boxes. What are we going to do? Oh, there's a special master. Okay, we'll give it to him. No, they've read every document. If he committed a crime, they would have indicted him. Oh, my God. The, the perp walk. Oh, my God. You, they would be doing things to themselves, the morally superior among us. I mean, it would be the best thing that ever happened to the Democratic Party and the Democrats to see Trump in handcuffs, but it ain't going to happen. They could possibly indict him, but at the same time, in 23, they can't convict him. And they know they can't convict him and because he's a former president with the power to declassify documents. Clinton wasn't. And that's why Comey said, yeah, yeah, she broke the law, but eh. So watch that short. Also, watch the short of me lifting 110-pound uh, dumbbells. You might enjoy it. It's a, a, a different side of me that you might enjoy. Um, and it's a personal record for me. I'm very, pr- I'm very proud and happy that I was able to accomplish it. Um, and we'll see. Maybe down the road I can go to 120. I, I don't know right now. But um, anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to... He's not going to give them information on how he declassified the documents as a former president. Uh, they already, he already knows, they already know the documents that weren't, cla- the, that they think aren't classified. Well, the judge doesn't, so he's not going to really get into the specific process. He could, Politico said that he could verbally declassify, that's Politico. Not a source like a conservative, or just that Politico said he could verbally declassify documents. So as a as a for, as a president, anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. I should have a live stream tonight, uh, but definitely, definitely check out the short, ladies and gentlemen, with me working out. You will love it. Thank you. Hit subscribe. Be here in a couple of hours.